camera was an incredible invention that completely changed our world. But just like everything else, there is a good side and a bad side. And today, of course, we are diving into the terrifying. Welcome back, friends. I'm your host, Kennedy, and get ready because today we are not only counting down some of the creepiest photos I've ever seen, but the top 10 terrifying camera photos recovered from prohibited places. So let's get into it. Starting off at number 10, the Chernobyl exclusion zone. When it comes to creepy prohibited places, it's tough to beat the Chernobyl exclusion zone. And if you guys have ever seen one of my videos before, then you might already know I have a specific disdain for creepy dolls. And wouldn't you know it, the exclusion zone is filled with them. There's baby dolls sitting in abandoned hospitals, creepy dolls sitting on windowsills, some propped up on skeletal bed frames, others sprawled out in piles of debris. But the creepiest of all, I have to say, is this one wearing a gas mask. I mean, between the gas masks all over the floor and the one covering the doll's face, I gotta say this is one of the creepier photos I have seen seen emerge. Now, to be fair, there is a high possibility that it's due to some tourism interference, but interference or not, it's still not something I would want to stumble on in the wild. Next up at number 9, Gas Mask Island. Speaking of gas masks, located about 180 kilometers south of Tokyo is the island of Miyaki Jima. And although it's not completely prohibited, it's definitely got many reasons to keep you away. For starters, the island is the host to Mount Oyama, an active strato volcano, which as far as volcanoes go, are just about the most dangerous and unpredictable you can get. In fact, their last major eruption in 2000 required a complete evacuation of the island. But it's not just the chance that the volcano could erupt at any given moment, it's also that it emits poisonous sulfuric gas with pretty much no warning at all. So by law, all 3,000 residents are required to carry a gas mask with them at all times, otherwise you could literally die. And while I can respect that these masks are for safety of those who live there, you can't deny it looks a little creepy. And if the fatal poisonous gas, mandatory gas masks, and potential volcano eruption didn't deter you, I will also mention that it's located in the Dragon's Triangle, which is essentially the Pacific equivalent to the Bermuda Triangle, and there have been many reports of vessels mysteriously disappearing while trying to cross. Coming in at number 8, North Sentinel Island. Home to the Sentinelese people, who are one of the few remaining tribes in the world that have zero contact contact with modern civilization, North Sentinel Island is strictly forbidden to any visitors of any kind. Now, not only is the island prohibited to visitors under the government of India in order to protect the isolated tribe from disease, but it's also a matter of safety, as the tribe have garnered a reputation to violently drive away anyone who tries to enter their premises. Now, of course, due to their incredibly solitude nature, there aren't too many photos of the people in North Sentinel, but I mean considering that most who have attempted to make contact have died that shouldn't come as a huge shock. However, this photo in particular is probably one of the most famous ones captured, and it tells you everything you need to know about why you should just leave these indigenous people alone. Coming in at number 7, Area 51. You would be hard pressed to find a more famously publicly restricted place in America than the alien conspiracy theory zone of Area 51. And so of course, I had to add it onto the list for you today. Over the years, Area 51 has been the suspect of countless UFO and alien conspiracies. And despite the fact that this top secret base has been around for some 70 years, the government actually refused to acknowledge its existence until 2013. And of course, this ongoing secrecy has only added to the suspicion that the government is hiding something extraterrestrial from the public. But things got heated up even further after a passenger on an American Airlines flight snapped a few photos of a bright, shining disc while flying over the prohibited area. Many UFOologists online 
timeline jumped to the conclusion that this strange disc here was an alien spaceship, while non-believers shot it down saying that it was more likely a solar power station or satellite. But I mean, you're looking at the photo, so why don't you tell me what you think it is? Coming in at number 6, Ark of the Covenant. For those who aren't familiar, the Ark of the Covenant is a legendary artifact believed to be the most sacred relic of the Israelites. Famously described as a wooden chest covered in pure gold with an elaborately designed lid called the mercy seat, according to the book of Exodus, the Ark contains the two stone tablets of the Ten Commandments. And according to the New Testament book of Hebrews, it also contains Aaron's rod and a pot of manna. So essentially, it's pretty much the biggest of deals, and a church in Ethiopia claims to be its keeper. Closely guarded in the city of Aksum, it's said that the monks who guard the treasure have been trained to kill with their bare hands. What's more, by some accounts, only the monk who is designated as guardian is able to see the Ark, and after assuming his role, he isn't allowed to leave the church grounds for the remainder of his life. However, due to the secrecy surrounding the relic, archaeologists haven't been able to confirm the legitimacy. But make no mistake, the mystery surrounding the relic has resulted in quite a few trespassers attempting to steal the Ark, the most recent of which was in 2021, where an estimated 1,000 people were hiding inside the church, 750 of which were found and killed by the Ethiopian government, while other civilians, like this woman, were severely injured. So yeah, just don't go snooping around this place. Coming in at number 5, North Korea. As a whole, North Korea is an incredibly top secret country. I mean, that's kind of their entire thing. Now, are you technically able to visit? I mean, yes, sort of. but. The loops that you have to jump through to get there, mixed with the strict conditions that follow in order to be a tourist here, make it not only a nearly impossible destination, but a very dangerous one too. However, what we do know about North Korea is their dedication to their military. In fact, they live by a military first policy, or Songun, and impose mandatory military training on all men for 10 years and women for 8 years. Plus, they currently rank as the second highest number of military and paramilitary personnel following Vietnam. But it's not just that. They also hold military parades to not only celebrate their army, but also showcase their nuclear attack capabilities, which is a terrifying thought if you ask me. Just take a look at this photo here. I mean, it's giving a certain unfavored 1930s military vibe. Now, is it not? Seriously, if you want to be freaked out, you can look it up yourself. There are plenty of photos of their haunting, goose-stepping military parades that will chill you to the bone. Coming in at number 4, Snake Island. Found off the coast of Brazil in the Atlantic Ocean is an island that even if it wasn't illegal to visit, would be the last place you would find me. Quite literally, the place of nightmares, this island is home to the critically endangered Golden Lancehead Pit Viper, who became trapped on the island thousands of years ago at the end of the last ice age. Apparently, as the ocean levels were rising, due to the melting ice, this island became disconnected from the mainland, which in turn forced the snakes to adapt to a new environment, eventually increasing their population to such a high degree that the island was rendered entirely too dangerous for public visitation. Now I bet you're wondering, there are tons of venomous snakes everywhere, why is this place so different? Well, for starters, it is pretty small as far as islands go, only measuring about 106 acres, but it also is home to upwards of 4 thousand snakes, each weaponized with a venom so deadly that it can actually melt human flesh. In case you're wondering, that is roughly one snake per square meter or 10 feet. Plus, if one does bite you, you are lucky to survive for another hour. So with that many deadly snakes trapped on that small of an island, pretty much everywhere you look is going to look like this photo here. And not only is it Indiana Jones's nightmare, 
it is also mine. Coming in at number three, Poveglia Island. It might be a small, gorgeous dot of land in the Venice Lagoon, but this island is far from a picture perfect Italian destination and definitely not a place you want to trespass onto. Way back in the day, after already losing roughly half of the Venetian population to the Black Death in 1347, by the 1400s, the people of Venice discovered the concept of quarantine and felt like they'd hit a gold mine. So by the time the next out Outbreaks occurred, they started sending over anyone with even the mildest of symptoms to nearby islands, most famously, Poveglia Island. The infected populace was forced to remain quarantined on the island for 40 days. But without any actual cure available, pretty much everyone still died, and so it became a mass gravesite, incinerating most of the dead bodies so as not to let the disease spread. But the horrors of this island did not end there. Fast forward to the 20th century, and it became a mental institution where its reputation only got worse. Allegedly, the experiments performed on the patients were so unethical and cruel that the doctor responsible took his life to try and escape the crimes he had caused. However, some out there think he was tormented by the thousands of ghosts already haunting the island and ended his life to escape their torments. Now, while the ghost story behind it might be up for debate, nowadays it is strictly prohibited to visitors, and as you can see by this terrifying photo, it remains scattered with the bones of all who died here. Coming in at number 2, Dulce Base. While Area 51 is for sure the most talked about allegedly alien affiliated base, there is another out there that might even be more terrifying. Now, before we get into the spooky stuff, let me start off by saying that although there are quite a few rumors and documented reports surrounding the facility, its actual existence is still ultimately unproven. However, one man, Phil Schneider, insisted on its reality until his death in 1996. While alive, Phil claimed to be a former government employee involved in the construction of the alleged base and became quite well known for several public presentations about the top secret location. His most famous statement came in a presentation in 1995 where he claimed that during the initial construction, the team encountered alien beings already beneath the ground, who he then got into a firefight with, suffering several burns as well as the loss of several fingers. Allegedly, the photo here shows Phil after the attack, and I mean, it's definitely unsettling. But what's even more unsettling is that according to Phil, back in 1954, the US government signed a treaty with aliens allowing them to perform experiments on humans in exchange for technology, meaning that that all the alleged alien abductions would not only be something that the government is aware of, but they signed off on. Now, is this entire thing entirely conjecture? Absolutely. But hey, crazier things have been true. And last up in our number one spot, Mary Reeser. On the morning of July 2nd, 1951, in St. Petersburg, Florida, Mary Reeser's landlady went up to the old woman's apartment to deliver a telegram. But upon her arrival, noticed something strange, that her door was warm to the touch. Still, she opened it nervously, and to her horror, she found Mary almost completely reduced to a pile of ashes on her chair, with only a small part of her left leg and her shockingly shrunken skull remaining. But what exactly happened to Mary? Well, that's kind of the million dollar question. Local authorities were unable to determine the cause of the fire, as the rest of the apartment was relatively unscathed. And when the FBI became involved, they determined Mary had essentially gone up in flames like the wick of a candle, while her own body fat fed the flame. But still, the question of how the fire started in the first place remained unanswered. Often referred to as the cinder lady, there was a theory at the time that Mary suffered spontaneous human combustion, but whatever it was that happened certainly left a terrifying crime scene. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.